7.2, it says day one. We're going to spend two days on 7.2, but there's only one day of notes. All right, we're doing all the notes for 7.2 today. And now on your notes, they look like this, but yours are all filled in and completed. Over here, what we're going to do to solve a linear system by substitution today, what we end up doing is you choose, yours is filled in like that with these words over here. So we will have two equations. We choose the one that is either x equals 2y plus 4, when you have either x all by itself, or sometimes it might be y equals 3x plus 8, or 2x plus 8. Whatever equation has the variable, it might be the x, it might be the y, whichever it has all by itself, that's the first equation you're going to use in our substitution method. So in this case, which one would we use, the top one or the bottom one? The top one, because this one has y all by itself. This one doesn't have, this has x plus y on this side. They don't have a variable all by itself. This one does. So we're going to use that equation. And since it's the y equals, you take this. So they're telling us that this y right here is going to equal x plus 5. So they take that y. Here's x plus, and instead of y, they put that in for the y, the x plus 5 and then that equals the 13. They substitute it in there. And then when you solve, you use your distributive property, x, this is a 1, assumed 1, plus 1x, one what's 1 times 5? Five. Equals 13. Combine like terms, so now I have 2x plus 5 equals 13, like written here, and this is all in your notes. So then we, what? Five. Yep minus 5, so now I have 2x equals 8, divide by 2, x equals 4. Well, half mine is done on the graph, I don't even have to go to the graph. So you have an ordered pair, you have your x and your y and your ordered pair. Which one of those did I just figure out? So is that the first one or the second? So I already know it's 4. So now I just have to figure out the y. So I take this, since I know x is 4, and I go into that very first equation, which is y equals x plus 5, right? And they tell me, we just figured out that our x is what now? 4. four. So now y equals 4 plus 5. What does y equal then? 9. Nine. Done. No graphing involved. It's easy. Yep, and then you check them. And then you'll check them. So you would go up to the originals. And off to the side, you will show your work, show your checks. And we already know right here, x is 4, 9 is y. So right here, does 9 equal 4 plus 5? Yes. Yes, because 9 equals 9. That one works. How about here? 5 plus 9. Does that equal 13? Yes. Is it 5? What's x? Oh. Oh, you're sleeping. I caught you. What is it? What is our x? Four. 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 Okay, so you substitute your ordered pair in. Four plus nine, does that equal 13? Yeah. Yes, we just had it written wrong. Right, so we know that our ordered pair is correct. No <coughs> graphing involved. Let's practice. Here are our, our two equations. Which one do we want to pick? Okay, we're going to take this one. And we know our y is the 8. So do I put the 8 in for the x or the y? Right, because y is the 8. So for the y then, I'm going to have x plus what? 8 equals 27. Okay, minus 8 to both sides. X equals what? 19. 19. So we've got to have a, our answer. Here's our ordered pair, parentheses, and a comma. Do I put 19 first or second? First. First, because our X is always first, just like alphabetical order, X, Y. 
Now what do I do? Okay, go back up to the first one now. We have y equals 8, right? Yeah. Oops. Right, I, go, I don't, you don't want to go to this one. Where do you want to go? This is x equals 19, so what do I do? Do we want to put it in this one or this one? Do I know the y yet? No? All I know is y equals 8. So what do I need to do? Do I have to do anything else? If I go back up to here, y is 8. Well, what, what do I do? What is it telling me? Do I have anything to do? Y equals 8. What will it, y is 8, right? We're done. They tell you. Well, say you got stumped because it's too easy. We think too hard, right? Just like those on the graph, y equals 8 or x equals negative 2. What if I were to go to this one? And what did I just solve? x is 19. I'll go to this one. 19 plus y equals 27. What if I were to put it in for that? Minus 19. What does y equal? Oh, wow. I just did work I wouldn't have had to do because it's right there telling us. Either way, it works out. If you do extra work or if you see it right away. And then you need to check it. So y is 8. Well, yes, it is. 8 equals 8. How about the second one? 19 plus 8, does that equal 27? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Once again, we are brilliant. Worked in both. Well, now y doesn't equal 8. Y equals what? X. X. Y equals X. So that's the one we want to use. So what do I substitute in for? If y equals X, where do I put the X? In here for the X? Yeah. Or in for the Y? y equals, so this y right here equals x. So I put an x here. This is still your x. Now simplify. How many x's do I have? I have 3x equals a negative 15. Divide both sides by. What does x equal? Close. Negative 5. So let's take our ordered pair. If x is a negative 5, take that up to this problem here. What does y equal then? If x, y equals x, what does y equal? That also equals a negative 5. Okay, so if x, we go up here and put a negative 5 in for my x. Or say you didn't know and you went to this one. 2 times, well they're saying x now is negative 5, so 2 times a negative 5 plus y equals negative 15. What happens if I do that? What do I get here? 2 times a negative 5 is? Good. Negative 10 plus y equals a negative 15. Add 10 to both sides. y once again still equals a negative 5. So it doesn't matter which one you pick you'll get the right answer if you do the math correctly. Then you check them. Does y equal x? Negative 5 equals a negative 5. That's good. Does 2 times a negative 5 plus a negative 5 equal a negative 15? Does it work in the second one? Well, what's 2 times negative 5? Negative 10, what's positive, and we have that assumed 1 in here, positive 1 times a negative 5 is? What's minus 10 minus 5? A negative 15 equals a negative 15. It all works. One big happy family of numbers there. <laughs> all right. Now, we want to start with x all by itself, right? So, this is the 1 x equals 2y. So 
Am I going to put 2y in for the x or for the y? Great. Because see here, it's x equals. So I'm going to put that in for the x because it's saying x equals 2y. So this now turns into a 2y. 2y plus 3y equals 45. Simplify, what do I get? 5y. Great. So 5y equals 45. Now I have to do what to both sides? 5y equals 9. So in my ordered pair, 9 go first or second? Second. My y is a 9. So we still need to find our x. How do I do that? Substitute. You can pick either one of these, but I'm going to pick the easiest one here. To find x equals 2y, 2 times y, well now I know my y is 9. x equals 18. Let's see if we did it right. How do I do that? Good, so let's go back, substitute, and check in each one. This one, my x is 18. Does 18 equal 2 times 9? Yes. Why, yes it does. That one's good. Now let's check this one. What's my x? 18. Plus 3 times, what's my y? 9. Does that equal 45? Well, this is 18. What's 3 times 9? Good. So 18 plus 27, what does that equal? Woohoo! 45 equals my 45. They both work. On to the next problem. No graphing needed. All right, this is your last one. I'll give you a couple minutes to come up with an ordered pair, and then we will compare. Okay, let's get you started first because we're having troubles on the substitution here because y, they're telling us y is x plus 4, right? Yeah. So, are we going to put an x plus 4 in for the x or for the y? Y. Yes, we're gonna, they're telling us y is this. So we have to put that in for our y. So now we'll have 2x plus x plus 4 equals 58. Now this is your distributive property. Remember that little assumed 1 in front of here because we need to get rid of the parentheses? So what is a positive 1 times a 1x? That turns into a positive 1x. What's a positive 1 times a positive 4? Plus or minus? Plus. A positive 4. And then you still need to bring this 2x down. So now we have 2x plus 1x. We combine our like terms. And we get what? 3x plus 4. Now we have 3x, because that turns into 3x, plus 4 equals 58. Then what? Yep. Subtract 4. Now I have 3x equals 54. Divide everything by? 3. X equals 18. We're half done. Is that my first or my second coordinate? My x is my first coordinate, so now I have 18. I have my x, so I have to find my y. So now we take this 18 and you pluck it in. I'm going to use the easy one. I'm going to use that top one. You could use either one, but it's easiest to use the top one. So I'm going to use that top one. y equals x plus 4. Well, what's my x? So instead of x plus 4, 18 plus 4. What does y equal? Now I have my other set <coughs> coordinate. Now let's check. Do they work in both? Let's check this one right here. My y is? So 22, does that equal 18 plus 4? 22 equals 22. That one works. Now let's do this one. 2 times x, which is 18, plus what's y? 22, does that equal 58? Yes. What's 18 times 2? Good. 36 plus 22, what does 